Well, hello. Welcome to another flip video with Mr. Volkman. Today's flip video will be going over chapters 1.7 to 1.9. And I titled this one jokingly, Clean Your Room! Cave Mom. It's all about items that are left in caves. Now remember, this video is for academic purposes, so please make sure you watch it like that. If there's anything you don't understand, or if you've been watching for a few minutes and you realize I don't remember what he said. Make sure you rewind the video, please, and rewatch it again. Let's begin, shall we? So first off, there's three categories worth of items that usually were left in prehistoric caves. Weapons, clay sculptures, and art tools. And we're gonna talk briefly about each category. First off, with weapons, were used mainly for protection and for hunting. The weapons could be decorated. Um, decorations could have been used to show, like, to have like a good luck charm. Also, decorations could have been used to show ownership, such as this lovely decoration could have shown that it belonged to Bob, if Bob was a name used back then. Here are some pictures to show how some of the spears would have been thrown as well. Next, clay sculptures. Now, the sculptures, much like with the cave paintings, could have been used for ceremonies or also showing ownership of something, such as this cave belongs to these group of people or this room in the cave belongs to this person. Again, we're making educated guesses here because obviously us in present time didn't live way back then. Now these clay sculptures were decorated and they were highly detailed, such as these sculptures right here. If I were able to zoom in, you would see that there are actually lines to show that there's hair on the back of these animals, these ox. Finally, art tools were also found within caves. Some of the tools used were sculptor's picks, grindstones, engraving tools, brushes, and the brushes could have been made out of human hair, animal hair, it could have been some sort of moss or other vegetation. Now they also used minerals and using the grindstone they would grind these minerals up into a powder. Then they would add to this powder animal fat or vegetable oil and that would be like their paint that they would use in their cave paintings. Now obviously they would have to experiment with different minerals to grind up to make different colors. The pictures in the textbook and what I showed in the previous flip video show yeah, maybe three different colors that were used. Yellow and different variations of red. Now something also that you'll read in your textbook is that these artists from prehistory didn't just use the brushes to paint their color, they also used a tool to actually blow the powder onto the walls. You may have remember the pictures of the hand print. Now imagine a hand on the rock wall and someone going, <laughs> blowing powder towards that hand. Could that have left that hand mark? Well, thank you for watching this flip video. Um, go to Admoto to take the flipped assessment, please, and I'll see you in class tomorrow.